we are going back to the witch's house and we can actually have maybe sit down the witch's that's some statue who built it you think? I do not know behind this Statue and go for it. So, lots of things to be needed. How about one more story? One more. Where was a horse? The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, the stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. The story Together, abilities they killed the stag, not that and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Hey, we can talk here. Dropped. The usurper rose. Why? I knew that. Now we can travel to four places. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. No, not in the easy mode. So all this surrounding noise is for hearing. It's like... The rain and the clouds. Guys, just explode. But that was naive of me. Just got <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Jordan. I bet this will be out. Hey, this does more than decipher those loose ball lines. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Change the arrow Okay, we got some XP here. We can. Thank you. 
get another one of those bowls of sand up there. Can I do the rinse into? I'm not sure how we reach it. So once we bring the blades of chaos, we can go there. <coughs> but I desperately want that last Something special, and I do something that can't even get down from here. See? So, this is a dead end. But I can reach that with some help. Cannot go anywhere from here. Going to the witch's house, witch's home. Let's start out the rest. Check out once though that if we can do some things from here. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods are welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Thankfully this was just lying around here. Look here. Okay, that's going in the journal. No, nothing extra. Just the information I just. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head, anyway. 
Charlie. What does it say? Falcon, Hawk, and Turtle. Some aloft in oceans above. Yeah, we're 
gonna kill her. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, you? Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn! So we are talking to the one serpent now. Good. I put my lips to the... Yeah, cutting these parts because we know what is going to happen. I just have to finish Wait, this game look. in the hardest. The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I even see new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Nightmares, ugh! What awful pain! <laughs> 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 Nice shot!
Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Another map. Great. We can check out this place. See what he has for us. I'm just simply exploring the place. I don't know what. Okay. Any interest in checking it out? Oh, I can use some the idea. Stone pauldron, but I do not have that silver or small ring and the that. can do this, but still, I do not have that silver for this. Okay. Or, never mind that. Atreus, to me! Being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I don't know anything. Looks important. To who? There is little of value here. I guess nothing to do here. Because no longer is here. Like that throne room. So we 
we are way off our destination. Let's go back. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. So I'm not exploration, right? Let's take the ship. Or let's take the boat. Not ship. Which way? Tell me why Frey spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Another shipwreck under the water. We could beach the boat here. Focus up! Oh. 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 
skill continues to grow. Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. <laughs> Our focus is the road. Completely in the <laughs> Odin was lonely? That's why he was always at war? Nothing quite so simple, but I hoped that love might temper him and give us a chance for peace. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes I could scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. And we'll pick this up later. People don't!
of the <laughs> are connected, I guess. Oh. 
one. So Odin and Freya could have been happy, but he only wanted the magic? Aye. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity.
to be very careful about how we attack this guy. Because once we attack him, This is how you get sigil protection. Okay, so actually nothing special. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Odin became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after him. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Amir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. Emir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. He called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. Small, covetous tyrant! The mirror? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually.
Wolfing. You were taken from this realm too early. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Among the living. Goofy. Really? Boy, I can smell. Boy. Uh. They've taken three of Sweet Goofy's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Goofy will uh. reward you. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Can you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep it up. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thumb. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thumb who hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. A young Rimthur at the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rimthur ran off into the night, feeling shame and regret. Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. What is it? You found a village? Aye. Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place, famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. I have a power cut here. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together.
take a chisel. Like the tip of one, yes. Very, very giant. And it's never going to be able to skip from that. Crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick lot. That's a good idea. Yeah. Have to be wise. Survive. So we are getting inside from this side. Ooh. As you can see. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamor was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Okay. Where's this? Tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. But can't we go back?
has gone mad now.
Why is he always that powerful? Man hitting me for... Ah, ah. <laughs> Go! Oh. 
I'm getting better at. Betray us to me. Okay, let's try again. We could try through here. What does it say? To New York, we offer. <laughs> Ah yes, it was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here.
sunset. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do oh, not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, 